Hey everybody, so today I'm here to show you guys what we got Remy for her birthday. It is quickly coming up. She's going to be two years old and I cannot believe it. But yes, I am here to show you guys what we got. Honestly, it took us a while to decide on things. That's why this video is kind of so late. Normally I have this up like a month before the girl's birthday, but it was really hard. The girls have a lot of indoor and outdoor toys and I obviously like to get them things that are going to last and they're going to use. But I also want to keep it pretty personal to Remy also because obviously it's her birthday, get her something that she wanted. And we did start a tradition I think this year and you'll see that with one of the presents. But we spent about $150, that's our budget for birthday presents and the majority of it was spent on two presents alone. They were just bigger presents. You're looking at one of them right now, this Dole Twister by Little Tykes. I saw this on Target just randomly looking for ideas for her and it brought back so many good memories. I had one of these, but not a dual. It was just like a single when I was younger. And I literally played with this thing until I was too heavy and could not spin it. I had such a blast, me and my sister did. And honestly, me and my sister would ride on it together even though it was meant for one. So I thought this was so much fun and I thought the girls would have a blast. I don't think Remy could really do it on her own, but I definitely think Sophie could. And as you can see, the age down there is from two to five. So I feel like we'll get a lot of play out of this. You can also use it kind of like as a sprinkler a little bit. I thought that was really cool. And I don't know, it just, it was really nostalgic. It's a little bit different, you know, so I felt like it could be around for years to come. Both of them can play with it or one at a time, you know, whatever they're interested in doing, which is huge when you have, you know, multiple kids. So the next thing that I wanted to get Remy was a book. Now I went with this book from PBS because we love PBS and all their shows and everything, but I felt like this was so interesting. You guys know I have books that kind of look like this as well, but this was, first of all, so thick. There are so many pages to this book. And second of all, it was thorough. It has a lot of different things. It has different like pronouns and stuff like that so kids can know what they're referring to. Like you can see her dinosaur, his scooter, their truck. Stuff like that. Stuff that even, you know, Sophie could play, like, not play with, learn from. So I thought this book was really interesting. It was pretty inexpensive on Amazon. As you guys know, I'm going to have everything linked down below for you. And the second big gift that we got Remy was this playhouse. And I'm going to pan you to a shot of it. We got this secondhand used for only $60. We gave it a nice cleanup today. So I'm going to pan you to a shot of outside after I was cleaning. Okay, so this is the playhouse that we got Remy. It has windows on either side, and as you can see, there's a little kitchen in there. And one of the biggest things for us was the fact that it had a floor in it because we were worried about the deck and maybe getting splinters and stuff with them playing in it. And we just really wanted something that already had a floor. As you can see, Sophie was in there and she fit just fine. The doorbell works, there's a the little mail hole slot. Like I said, the kitchen. I have the phone in the house because I'm gonna wash that up. But it came pretty clean, even though it was a little dirty, but it's in great shape. It's big enough for both girls to play in. But yeah, we're sure that Remy is going to love her birthday gift. And I know that both girls are gonna be just absolutely obsessed with this come spring and summertime once we finally get good weather. So yes, this is Remy's playhouse for her birthday. Okay, so now that we have those three presents out of the way, I really felt like looking at those when we got them, that I felt like, you know, Sophie could write on this twister. She's definitely going to be looking at the book. She's going to be playing in the playhouse. So I wanted to get a couple gifts that were really personal to Remy and were just about her and that maybe Sophie wouldn't even be interested in. I noticed that she was playing with our Melissa and Doug latch board a ton. So I went ahead and I looked on Amazon and I found a couple different options. But the one I went with was the Leapfrog My Discovery House. Now, at first I was worried that this might be a little too old for Remy, but I mean, she's still technically in the age range. And a lot of the reviews said even their four and five year olds still play with it because they think it's fun and funny. But basically it just has a bunch of different things that you can mess with. And I think it'd be great. Like I said, she loves that latch board and she can't necessarily do all of them. But I kind of thought that this was similar in a way where she could still use her hands, open things up and ring doorbells. And it does all kinds of different stuff. So 
even if it doesn't get a whole lot of play, I think as of right now, it's what she's interested in and I think that she'll love it a lot. And then the last present for Remy is this baby doll. Now, this is the one that I was talking about, the tradition. This is something Remy picked out. We went to the store and I actually ordered a different baby doll online, but it came in the mail and it was nothing like what I was expecting, so we returned it. And we just kind of felt like, why not just let her pick whatever baby doll she wanted? So I think I like that idea. One present, the kids get to go to the store, they get to pick it out, and obviously within reason. And it was really funny that she picked this doll because it was a birthday celebration doll. Just thought that was kind of ironic that she picked out a birthday celebration doll for her birthday. But it actually did come with a few other things. They're scattered all over my living room. So I'm just going to put a picture right here of what it came with because she has already been loving on this doll. I had to sneak it away from her because it just took a nap with her. She loves it. And mom loves the fact that it doesn't have real hair, like baby doll hair. Oh, I love that. But they've been loving playing with the cupcake and the little pretend present. And she's been just looking after this little doll. So we got the doll, the house, the book the spinner, and also the playhouse. So that is everything that Remy got for her birthday. To me, it feels pretty minimal compared to what I've done for birthdays in the past, but like I said, that's just because her budget was spent really between the twister and the playhouse. But you know, kids don't even care about that kind of stuff. You know, she would be thrilled if the only thing she got for her birthday was this baby doll. She does not put this thing down. But yeah, I, like I said, I'll have everything linked down below for you guys so you can easily find it. Leave any questions you have down below in the comments but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching